If you've ever dabbled in organic gardening or looked into natural soil amendments, you've likely come across alfalfa pellets. They're often promoted as a slow-release, nitrogen-rich feed for garden beds, compost piles, and even worm bins. But one question keeps coming up in the Hydrohaven community, do alfalfa pellets actually attract earthworms? The answer is yes, but there's more to it. When used correctly, alfalfa pellets can become a magnet for earthworms. Misused, they can do the opposite and even repel beneficial life. So, let's break it down clearly, based on real garden tests and soil biology fundamentals. Alfalfa is a legume, known for its ability to fix nitrogen and provide a well-balanced blend of nutrients, amino acids, and natural growth hormones like triacontinol. When compressed into pellet form, it becomes a convenient, shelf-stable option for gardeners looking to add organic matter to their soil. But beyond its nutritional value, alfalfa has another hidden benefit. When it begins to break down in moist soil, it sparks microbial activity, and that is what earthworms are really chasing. Earthworms don't eat fresh plant matter the way composting seems to suggest. Instead, they follow the trail of bacterial and fungal life. When microbes start digesting alfalfa pellets, they create a microbial hotspot in the soil. This fermentation and breakdown process gives off subtle chemical cues that worms detect. In our raised bed trials at Hydro Haven, we noticed that alfalfa pellets, when moistened and partially buried, triggered worm movement within just a few days, especially in beds where the biology was already somewhat active. The worms didn't eat the pellets directly. They came for the feast of decomposing life that surrounded them. However, simply scattering alfalfa pellets on dry soil and expecting miracles won't work. These pellets must be activated. That means moisture, moderate warmth, and some microbial presence are required. In cool or overly dry soil, the pellets won't break down fast enough and worms will simply ignore them. Worse, if too many pellets are applied at once, especially in compacted or oxygen-poor soil, anaerobic fermentation can occur. This leads to a sour, slimy mess that worms avoid entirely. The key is moderation and placement. We found that soaking the pellets in warm, dechlorinated water for a few hours before applying them gives the best results. Once softened, they can be mixed lightly into the top few inches of soil or tucked under mulch. This gives them immediate access to oxygen and microbial life, helping them break down faster and more evenly. Within two to four days, you can often spot worm castings in the treated areas, and if you gently pull back the mulch, you may even see worms right at the surface feeding and tunneling. Alfalfa pellets also have a unique edge over some other organic materials. They're relatively low in salts, break down cleanly, and contain a balanced ratio of carbon to nitrogen. Unlike uncomposted kitchen scraps or hot manures, they won't overwhelm the soil or cause nitrogen burn. This makes them perfect for small gardens, balcony beds, or containers where soil space is limited and balance is critical. One thing to watch for is that alfalfa pellets do heat up slightly as they begin to decompose. This isn't harmful to the soil, but in very warm climates or in shallow raised beds, this could briefly raise the soil temperature. In most cases, it's not a concern. But if you're gardening during the height of summer, apply pellets in the evening and water them in gently to avoid stressing any nearby roots. Another benefit is that alfalfa doesn't just attract earthworms, it nourishes them. As the pellets decompose and microbes flourish, worms feed on the microbial film that coats the decomposing material. This in turn results in more castings, better aeration, and improved moisture retention in your garden soil. Over a few weeks of consistent use, you may even notice a long-term increase in worm populations, not just temporary visitors. That's a sign that you're not just feeding your garden, you're building a real underground ecosystem. We've also seen strong results when combining alfalfa pellets with other soil-friendly practices like mulch-layering compost teas or fermented plant extracts. Because alfalfa pellets provide both food and structure, they pair well with these additions to create a diverse living soil. For example, adding alfalfa to a compost pile not only speeds up decomposition, but also increases the protein content of the finished compost, making it even more attractive to worms when applied to your beds.
It's important to choose high-quality untreated alfalfa pellets intended for animal feed preferably with no added preservatives or anti-mold agents. Pellets designed for horses or rabbits are often the cleanest. Avoid those labeled with added minerals or medications as these can disrupt soil biology and may be harmful to worms or seedlings. In summary, alfalfa pellets do attract earthworms but not in the way you might expect. They aren't a direct food source, instead they act as a trigger for microbial activity, and that's what sets the whole process in motion. When used wisely, hydrated, incorporated and combined with mulch or compost, they can dramatically boost soil health and worm activity in a very short time. For gardeners working with depleted beds, containers or compacted soil, this is a fast-track method to restart soil life without the weight or complexity of traditional composting. So, if you've got a bag of alfalfa pellets sitting in the shed, now you know what to do with it. Turn it into a worm-attracting soil-building booster that works quietly but powerfully beneath the surface. If this guide gave you real usable insight, don't forget to subscribe to Hydrohaven and share this video with fellow growers. Together, we're building healthier soil, one worm, one root, and one natural trick at a time.